You die. Okay. Jordan, your uh, honorable mentions for albums. All right, my honorable mentions. I got uh, Trenches, Reckoner. This is very, very, very reminiscent of uh, Haste a Day. Um, not the like old era of Haste a Day, but more of like the modern, more melodic, atmospheric uh, Haste a Day. But it's still got, you know, Jimmy Ryan's vocals. He was the original vocalist mm-hmm. for Haste a Day. So he's got those, you know, those very growly vocals that he still had back then in but also he's kind of expanded his sound and he does some like lows on this he does his normal highs he does kind of like uh that kind of like pitch singing almost screaming kind of thing it's very very melodic there's like some really cool breakdowns um but it was still very cohesive and very groovy also there's a lot of like technical riffs and stuff on this um and then next i got the uh, inclination under unaltered perspective just barely didn't make my albums there is uh just the albums that really did hit this year very they hit kind of hard but um you know it's super hard hitting hardcore but without being just straight up hardcore they definitely play around with it they kind of add like a little bit of a progressive element to it it's definitely uh unique in the hardcore genre i i'd say it's the best hardcore release i've heard and Maybe the past five years. So, also uh, my runner-ups, I got a uh, He Is Legends, uh, Endless Hallway. Listening to that album, that album was really cool. Just some crushing, like heavy, like riffs and stuff, paired with the melodic singing and stuff. Uh, and it's just like I don't know, man. That kind of blend between the two, it it just kind of put me back a little bit. Cool kind of introduction to their their stuff. I think it's very very good. Those really sludgy riffs, breakdowns that come kind of come out of nowhere. It was just a little bit too long. There was a little bit of the filler in there. I, I, it could have been you know shortened a little bit, but it was definitely uh, not as much as some of the other albums that we've listened to this year. Then we got uh, for my last one, I got Caven's Heavy Pendulum. That was another one that I listened to today. Um, Very, very cool. It's kind of like a sludge, like metal kind of feel uh, paired with like the very spacey, like interludes that Caveman has. It was very reminiscent to Until Your Heart Stops and uh, the album Jupiter. They still kind of mix in like the metal core here and there. Um, It is their first album without their bass player who passed away a couple of years ago. So it's... They've, um, there's a little bit of like a homage to him on there. I really enjoyed it. It just didn't, didn't quite make my top five. Okay. Uh, so yeah, my list, uh, my, th- this year was a little tough for me. Um, I, there wasn't a lot of clear 10 out of 10s. It was mostly a lot of eights and nines. I have five honorable mentions. So if you want to be lazy and call this my <laughs> five to uh, or, uh, six through ten, uh, you can. All right. So my first honorable mention uh, would be uh, Inclination, uh, of course. Uh, so I think Jordan and I both gave this album a ten out of ten. Uh, I think it is the perfect hardcore album. Uh, it's full of like influential, relatable lyricism. Uh, you've got you know get the gang chant vocals and the this huge like epic ending, uh, real big wow moment. You know uh, I don't I usually don't feel a lot of wow moments in hardcore. The guitar uses this uh, he uses this chorus effect throughout the whole album uh, that I think really sets this album apart like sonically from really any other hardcore band in an elevated way like in a a really good way um so this band was like the closest to being in my top five as again like it's a 10 out of 10 but uh the other bands that did make the list just had something a little bit like really special that i felt had to be in my top five but if there was a top six inclination would be on there uh then i've got monuments uh in stasis uh so i love monuments a lot uh i think andy sizek absolutely carries this album does a great job uh even i like so much so that i think even the features get lost because like he just does it better <laughs> like he, he's just so good at it like even the spencer satello feature and periphery is my favorite band i didn't even need spencer like just <laughs> i could have just done without him uh i think andy just does great uh the album's very catchy uh, but unfortunately, the instrumentals lack a lot of the groove and uh, the two step bouncy parts that are like littered throughout their entire <laughs> discography. 
Um, so, and I feel like that's their signature sound. So just listening to it, like it just sounds like it, it comes off as the album's just trying to be more technical than groovy. And I, I just, so it didn't quite make it though. It's still really good. Um, motionless and white scoring the end of the world. Uh, another really good album. Uh, it has some parts in here that reached like heights of like creatures era stuff. Never thought I would hear th- that good of motionless and white again. Uh, not to mention there's even like some really positive, like uplifting moments in here that I like a posi core stuff. Um, there's some synth wave stuff in here, but I think the album is a little too big for its own good. It's like 50 minutes long. Um, and still not a fan of the red, white and boom song. You know, it's like the America sequel that I, I don't really like the America song either from, uh infamous or whatever uh the marilyn manson style songs i just don't don't uh like that as much but you know still really good album so it's it's in my honorable mentions uh varials scars for you to remember um this is on my honorable mentions as well uh surprisingly good album considering they have a new vocalist i think he does really well in the role he's not quite travis but he's really close uh especially in sound like he's really close to the same type of screams they also you know i heard i heard a lot of hate for this album but i think they really take the burial sound and expand on it uh with some little little bit of new metal influences and electronic influences as well uh, I think it's a damn good at Varials album. I think it's like the next evolution in Varials. If you listen to it, like it's, it's. I think it fits very well in their discography. Uh, but there's just not enough, you know, big moments in there to really hit my top five because uh, that's something that's really important to me is a, a big, you know, wow moments. Uh, but super close. Uh, and then last honorable mention it is counterparts. This album is very emotionally impactful. Some parts are borderline hard to listen to with how real it is. You know, this is a compliment. Uh, I don't mean it in a bad way. Like it's, 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 it, it hits you, but, um, still outside of those, uh, few tracks that do that, those really big songs, the rest of it's still pretty good, you know, but just not, uh, again, not any real like wow moments, you know, that I normally look for outside of those, uh, those dark songs uh which they're all pretty dark um it's it is a very dark album um which is understandable going off of the uh context um but it's still really good so you know honorable mention for sure 